hey, what is the difference between cystic fibrosis and Cartagener syndrome in terms of the overall presentations? They both present with pulmonary findings and I get confused. Okay, so cystic fibrosis, I'll make this real clean and easy, okay? Yes, they present with recurrent pulmonary infections, both of them. The main difference is that Cartagena will be the answer on USMLE. When the vignette sounds like cystic fibrosis, however, they're going to give you situs inversus slash dextrocardia. They can just show you a chest x-ray where the heart's on the wrong side, and you're like, fuck, I didn't even realize the heart was on the wrong side. That's what they'll do. Obviously, Cartagena syndrome, you can get things like ectopic pregnancy in females, when we talk about the sperm sample, you get CBAVD and CF, which is congenital bilateral absence of the vas deferens. You get absent sperm in the sample. Whereas with Cartagena syndrome, the sperm are present. They're just poorly motile because of the cilia dysfunction, the dining arm defect. So apart from that, they both present with recurrent pneumonia. So they sound very similar. Cystic fibrosis obviously has a myriad of other important points for eosinophilia, autosomal recessive, chromosome 7, CFTR gene, chloride channel that's normally located at the cell surface, but in the condition, it's going to be sequestered in the RER. And of course, you get exocrine pancreatic insufficiency due to the inspissated secretions, fancy word that means dried up secretions within a lumen, desiccated secretions within a lumen. And so you're going to get failure to thrive in kids. You get things like vitamin D deficiency, uh, bowing of the tibias, vitamin E deficiency, you get neuropathy, you get meconium ileus at birth, and other findings like positive sweat chloride test. That's it.